Fairchild right now, and a true Wisconsinite would know there's this very tall radio tower. It's kind of a Wisconsin landmark, so I'm just driving past that on my way up north to start filming for next week's episode. But welcome to this week's episode of Sassafras Outdoors. And, uh, well, this is basically a couple of highlights and different uh, clips of this last weekend, Labor Day weekend. Um, didn't do as much fishing as I wanted to, ended up partying a little too hard, and spending a good time with friends and family, and you guys know how that goes. Um, we caught in the fun wheel, and I don't feel bad about it one bit. But anyways, um, we do got a clip there of uh, my beautiful better half, Jessica, reeling in a catfish. Did a little night fishing, and she wanted me to let you guys know that she was not a homeless person in that video. She was just wearing her warm weather, like, blanket, sweater, cozy thing it's called, and it's leopard print. So, um, there you go, sweetheart. I'll let everybody know. But anyways, um... We do have an Instagram now, and we're gonna be making probably a Facebook page and doing all that good stuff. So I'll put all that links in the description below. But um, yeah, it was a decent weekend of fishing, not crazy. The weather was still a little off, the rivers were still pretty high. Um, especially the Fox River, that's where the video starts out at. That was, I've never seen it that crazy this time of year especially so pretty wild stuff plus the water was really cloudy and whatever so I did what I could it really wasn't bad I mean they were biting a ton of large mouth so um but uh anyways yeah hope you guys enjoy the clip thanks for watching and uh yeah let's go fishing <laughs> what we got here? Large mouth bass. <sighs> yeah. See, this one's got these little black spots around it. If you ever get a fish like this, do not eat it. It's full of uh, little ma little worm kind of deals. So you'll see though you'll see bass with them, bluegill. I've caught northern with them even. So highly not recommended. There's another bite. Yeah, Twister tail's getting pretty beat up. A large mouth. I caught another fish before, but I didn't didn't have my camera on me. They're biting. Water's pretty stained, but they're still biting. And uh, I haven't even used any live bait yet so oh there was another one damn it ah it's kind of tricky here a lot of vegetation it's not very deep but still good ah there's another <laughs> there's this little culvert here they're probably hanging out by There we go. Another large mouth. 
They're all about, about the same size, I'd say. Still something. Oh, there was a big carp. That was a big common carp. It's about all that's in here, I think. There might be some buffalo heads, but not really gonna get too many. That's a little better one. Sweet. Little few fish right here. Man, he's bleeding like a son of a gun. He's about the same size. Good times, good times. <sighs> hey, how you doing? Oh, that was a fish again. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah there's another one. God, ah, come on, get bigger. You're too small to even take that lure. Jeez. Just got like six bites right there, but they're just these little tiny ones. I don't know about this. Come on. There we go. Finally, we got something. Little guy jumped right out of the water at me. Oh, yeah. Another. Similar one. These are all largemouth here. And uh, it's because we got some pretty calm water here, you know, throughout the whole year. So this little stretch of this bank here is always largemouth. You get out a little further into the current, that's where the smallies are. I mean, you'd probably catch one or two in here, you know, here and there, but majority are largemouth and little northern. <sighs> Which is totally fine with me. I'm just get, I'm just glad to be catching fish. I was kind of worried about this weekend having this current like this after all the rain. And plus, we got some rainfall happening this you know all day today and tomorrow. But uh, oh, that was another one. They seem to be quite active. Oh, we can see some dust coming up. Probably carp. A lot of carp in here. This Fox River, man, let me tell you. You want to go carp fishing? You cut on the Fox River. <laughs> oh. it, it's insane how big they get here. Oh, that was another one. Wow. Sweet. There you go. There you go. Another largemouth. One of the better days I've had here in the last couple weeks already and I just started that was a bite right when I hit the water you guys are nice and hungry today I love it they're not big I mean there's no big size to them or nothing like that but they're still whew, still fun man I'm sure we'll start getting into the bigger fish at our next spot
deeper birch. <laughs> Not quite a keeper. Still, so, right there. <laughs> See what's over in these rocks. There's just thousands of little fish down here. Look at that. As soon as you touch the water, you're on it. Oh. Look at them all. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Another little green sunfish. These are like perfect size, I think. Little, little tiny ones. You can use them whole if you want to. I like cutting them, cutting them up just because you get that scent in the water a little better. Yeah, let's see what happens. Once that sun starts going down, I think we're gonna start seeing some cool stuff. I hope so. back over here. There's usually some perch over here. Just a little bit deeper. Wow! <laughs> World's biggest largemouth. There is a thousand of these things around too. I'm just amazed that I can't even catch them. Jeez. Another bluegill sunfish thing. You do get some really nice bluegills in here too. And we'll get a couple. Ooh, that one. There we go. Hey, look at that. That's a nice perch right there, folks. Cool. Thousands of these guys in the channel here. You can kind of tell he's he's got a, he's got a mark on him. Excellent. Save my worm too. All right, we got a nice one on. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let me get my light out. <laughs> Oh, what do we got here, folks? It's dark. I don't know. What is it? I think it's a cat. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sweet. Hang on. There you go, sweetie. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold, keep, don't make it, baby. Let me pick him up. <laughs> We got this steel leader on. I'll just lift them up on the shore. Don't do it with the rod. Look at that. There you go. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get the hook out and see. Nice. All right, so we basically started in the normal spot, but there's too much current. So we moved positions where the current's a little more manageable. A couple minutes later, boom, got one of those. So, good deal. We're gonna let them go. And for the record, Jessica caught this one, but she didn't want to hold it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Look at that. And for the record, I did hold it and then I got scared. Right. <laughs> First one of the weekend. I'm going to get bit by something coming after my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Should I just hit the end? Yeah. Alright, well, hey, thanks for uh, watching today. Appreciate you guys tuning in every week. You guys seem to really like the episode so far. Everybody seems to enjoy it. Um, 
to everybody who subscribed last week. Uh, I really appreciate that. We got a few new people, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it's been good. I got uh, quite a few views starting to rack up on my Wisconsin Dells video. So I might end up going back there in the next few weeks, trying some, uh, maybe some cut bait fishing or whatever. Something a little different. So that was, that was a good day of fishing too. That was a good time. It really surprised me. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, share. And um, we'll see you guys next week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be fishing for or where I'm going to be fishing yet, but got a couple ideas. As you, like I said, I'm driving up north right now and I figured I'd do this intro and outro video for you guys since I got nothing else to do. I didn't have time this last week, so um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Stay classy.